said I just couldn't catch that brain Cause beauty is my name Now I'm out here looking like revenge Feeling like a 10, the best I ever been And yeah, I know how bad it must hurt to see me like this But it gets worse <laughs> Alright y'all, so as you can see, my hair is not giving you no type of life, no type of slay, no type of body, like nothing. And that tends to happen when I take down my twist outs. Initially, my day one hair is just not cute. It's just not cute. So it takes a little bit of manipulating. Plus, I prefer my hair to have a little bit more elongation because my shrinkage is so real. I don't have no grudge or beef with my shrinkage, but your girl would just prefer a little bit more length, you know? So I'm going to show you guys how to instantly get longer curls so that if and when the time comes that you're experiencing a petty uh, hair day like this, you know what to do. So I'm going to just hop right into this thing. But before I do, please make sure you have hit the subscribe button and the bell button so you're notified each time I post a new video. And, you know, just join Beauty Gang because we're pretty lit over here. So, yeah, let's just hop right into this thing. So first, I'm going to go ahead and start by sectioning off a chunk of my hair. So I'm going to start in the back. Typically, I start in the back. And I... Pull away the rest of my hair. Oh, by the way, too, if you're wondering how I achieve this Define Twist Out videos on my channel, I'll be sure to link it at the top of the screen so you can check that out. All right, so got a section of hair, right? Then you're gonna go ahead and grab some heat protectant spray. I use Chai Chi whatever. People always wanna correct me in the comments. I don't care. Either way, you see what it is, okay? You see this? That's what it is, it's heat protectant spray. So I go ahead and spray that just a little bit on the part that I'm going to end up applying heat to. Yes, we are using heat by the way. And I'm actually using this dope Icon Tech Touch blow dryer that Sally Beauty sent me in a PR package. It's pretty dope. First time I'm using it. But yeah, I guess this is the power button. It's, it's like touch, tech, whatever. The same as my That's one setting. That's two setting. That's four. All right. So I go ahead and pull at the very ends of my hair, and I'm gonna just have the blow dryer go along the top of my hair, if that makes sense, just like so. And it is on warm heat, by the way. take this nozzle off because my old blow dryer that always executed this process perfectly for me did not have it. I'm gonna go in a little bit. So as you can see, we got a little bit of elongation going there. It is okay to go up and down the hair shaft. Just make sure you are not going to the ends because you want that to remain coily or curly or whatever. So you still have the natural look going on. It doesn't look completely blow dried, if that makes sense. So yeah, now I'm going to take another section and section it off. I will say this front part of my hair I don't disrupt it too much so I don't really apply heat to it because I want that to remain very defined and coily so I don't really stretch the very front of my hair like that I realize I forgot to apply it on this section if I'm being 100 1000 with you guys typically I don't do heat protectant when I do this process but I didn't feel like hearing anybody's mouth about she just applies heat to her hair and she's trying to ruin our natural hair. So for the sake of the video I added heat protectant in it but I don't typically do that and I've never received any heat damage or anything from it but just to be safe you should be safe than sorry so I'd suggest using heat protectant just in case. <laughs> Now 
I know you guys are peeping me like pull the hair this way and that way and letting the heat go on it. I feel like it helps with the movement of the hair when I pull it in different directions as I'm stretching my hair out. So yeah, that's the reason I do that. Now this is always the hardest part if I'm going to style it down the middle or what, um, I really don't know. But typically like this middle section I don't really mess with because like I said I want to keep that definition especially in the front of my hair so I probably won't stretch it out honestly. But yeah I know you guys can see that elongation, huge difference huge than what we were just dealing with. Literally just took my hair from zero to a hundred real quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and figure out how I wanna part my hair and lay my edges real quick and then I'll be right back. All right y'all, so as you can see, my hair did a 360. That is how I get my curls long instantly. It's only like a five to 10 minute process, really quick to do. I will say I don't do this every day for one because that's way too much heat, that's way too much manipulation. I only do it about maybe one or two times before redoing my curly hair routine or whatever. So yeah, if you're somebody who struggles with shrinkage or you know, doesn't have a hate for shrinkage, but just prefers for your curls to be elongated and stuff. I think this is a great way to do that. And it's quick, easy, and efficient. And my hair does not shrink up or anything as the day progresses. It stays stretched and elongated like such. Oh, I forgot I didn't give y'all a close-up. Hold on. Look how popping it still is. And you see, it's still like the curl pattern. Nothing got extremely disrupted. That's why it's important to make sure you're only doing it at the roots. Um, cause obviously nobody can like see in my roots like that unless they all up in my head, but it still looks really cute. You still keep your definition and all that stuff. I just love this method. This is like my go-to method. Nine times out of ten when you see my hair, it is in a stretched state. So yeah, ain't no shame in my game. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Let me show you guys the back real quick. Oh yeah, and I think I did find my like staple part. I love like a deep side part now. Ain't it cute? You know it's cute, girl. But yeah, that is all I have for you guys. Oh, I'm sure people are gonna ask about this uh, African pendant choker necklace. So go ahead and follow me on Instagram and then check out my jewelry highlight that I have and you'll see the company tag there. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys. Really hope you enjoyed this video. If you end up trying out this method, definitely come back and comment how it worked for you or how it might not have worked for you or whatever. If you've tried this before and you love it or you didn't like it, comment that too. Love to see everybody's opinion of how certain things work for their hair. But this works for my hair and I felt like I should share it with y'all. So yeah, oh, last thing post notification shout out. So today's post notification shout out goes to Brooklyn Williams. Shout out to you girl. Thanks for being a part of Beauty Gang and thanks for being a part of Notification Squad. If you're someone who's interested in possibly being shouted out for being a part of the Notification Squad, you only have to be subscribed to Beauty Gang, obviously my channel. Go ahead and hit that bell button after you subscribed or if you already subscribed, hit the bell button so you're notified each time I post a new video. And just be sure to comment on every video that you see of mine hashtag notification squad hashtag notification gang or whatever so that I know that you're a part of that circle of ours you know and you might get shouted out but yeah that is all I have for you guys really hope you enjoyed this video again please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe if you are not a part of our gang hit the bell button and until next time guys bye Move your body cause you're loving the way that you want Move your body if you're loving the way that you talk One time if you're confident Clap two times cause you're on me Never gave a damn about what they say Cause you handle all your business on the day by day Head high, chest up, let me catch that frame Cause beauty